Welcome back. Had a couple of uh, projects planned for this episode, but uh, due to time, I kind of uh, could only fit one in. I was going to work on uh, put some hay bales together for the farm, a uh, tractor, and also the watering trough. So that was uh, the plans, but I'm one that I like to keep my videos to about 10 minutes. So I found that uh, this just started to run a little bit long. So we're only going to work on the hay bales today. One other thing I'd like to bring up real quick uh, is I have about 450 subscribers. Uh, and I've heard a couple of other uh, YouTubers uh, talk about this. And I thought I'd just mention it also. Uh, out of the 450, when I post a video, um, I generally get 50 views right away. Uh, it takes a couple weeks, I'll get up into 100, 150. I mean, I've, got, I've gotten some that have, uh, uh, when I put the uh, control panel together, um, the turntable, things like that, they, uh, they took some real uh, uh, heavy hits. And uh, but I just kind of wonder what happened to the other, uh, you know, 300 people out there that, uh, that don't take the time to view it or, or, or subscribe. So I enjoy the subscribers. Uh, I really uh, do this uh, just to kind of give some points and some tips, things that I found out about uh, and give you some ideas uh, for either N-Scale or HO or the ways to do something. So anyway, let's get on. Let's make some hay bales and uh, we'll get that project knocked out. Okay, I've got some uh, jute twine here. And uh, it's fairly uh, fine. So we're going to take that and uh, we're going to start making our hay with it. Uh, I tried uh, using uh, a razor blade, uh, X-Acto knife, uh, even had the chopper and I tried uh, using that. It just didn't, uh, it was just, I just found it easier to use a good pair of scissors. And uh, we just start working away very fine sixteenth of an inch at a time and just kind of uh, chew that up and then once I got the product I would uh, take it and uh, apply it into my cup here and I probably got enough there for last me a lifetime I'm using a uh, half inch the Scotch uh, transparent tape and uh, for HO the half inch uh, works out quite well it makes a nice uh, nice size of a bale but for N a little bit too wide what we need to do is uh, reduce that by about half I couldn't find any quarter inch so I'm going to show you what I did uh, with that I've used a piece of uh, the transparent tape, sticky side up, I made it about five and a half inches long. Um, for the actual for making of the hay bale, uh, somewhere between four to five inches would make a nice uh, a nice size, so in length. Left a little extra so I could put a piece, a regular piece of tape, and I taped that down. Now I'm uh, going to use a exacto uh, knife and actually slice this right down through the center, and then that's what we'll make our hay bale out of. I've used a thin piece of uh, styrene here just to hold my ruler up off the sticky area of the tape. And we'll hold that down. I'll use my X-Acto knife and uh, make a cut down through there. Then I'll come in and Remove this section of the tape. There. And now we can use this section right here to make our hay bale with. Actually, if I had removed that uh, piece of tape very carefully, I could have used that uh, and made a, a second hay bale out of it. I have to do that one on the next one. I've got uh, my uh, 
jute twine that I'd uh, chopped up here finely and just going to take that and we're just going to spread that down Just mat that in. Don't worry about getting too much in there. We're going to shake off what doesn't stick and we'll reuse it. Uh, I've just got a bottle of acrylic paint here, but use that kind of as a rolling pin. And now we can get ready to remove that part and we'll shake off the uh, the extra jute. I use my X-Acto knife here to uh, kind of trim this section away and this one down here. Let's hold this end. And here is what uh, kind of our area of the. We're going to roll that up and uh, we'll make a hay bale out of it. Okay, for this next part, um, get a little uh, quick setting CA uh, glue ready to go so we can, once we get the uh, hay bale rolled up. And this is probably about the hardest part of the whole project. Uh, I've got a real fine little pair of tweezers here. But we need to start getting that roll. And uh, hardest part is getting it tight. Once we get uh, three or four turns on here, we'll attempt to get the tweezers out of there pull it off of there and now uh, it's a case of rolling that up as tight as we can get it and some of the jute is going to fall off but Keep rolling that. And once we get that uh, fairly tight there, small dab of uh, CA glue without trying to get the finger stuck to it and hold that over on there so okay now we have our uh, our hay bale get this up here we have a little bit of a hole there in the center the best way I found to uh, fix that is Take, a, take some of your jute that you have and uh, just kind of uh, take it if you have a pin, uh, something there. Just kind of push a little bit down there in the center of that and uh, give a little shot of, uh, of CA. You know. Drop a CA on there and uh, let that sit for a bit and we'll turn it over do the other side and uh, hopefully we'll have a hay bale. Here are the uh, hay bales that we did up. 
They came out a nice size, nice to scale. That brings the uh, hay bale project uh, to a close. Uh, as I was out uh, driving around just the other day, I happened to uh, look around and in the fields there were some hay bales. Uh, I noticed that they were uh, quite a bit darker brown uh, than what the ones I made. Uh, I think I'm going to try this uh, uh, using a little bit of a brown wash, uh, dyeing uh, uh, the straw, letting it dry real well, and waking, making a few more ba bales to, uh, to sit out in the field. So it's kind of a, something to think about. Um, this project, it, it all came about to doing it uh, uh, Luke. I believe it's Towen. If you haven't checked his channel out, uh, doing his his scenery, there's just uh, no one better. So uh, I really enjoy his videos, and he gives me a lot of ideas on uh, on how to uh, uh, get things uh, done. So okay, uh, once again, uh, appreciate uh, all the subscribers I have, and uh, subscribe, hit the bell uh, to let you know when I do put a video out. But I do appreciate uh, all you watching. Have a great day. Hopefully we'll see you back here again soon.